Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you the latest method to install IPA files on your iPhone or iPad, even with the latest iOS versions. Whether you're a fan of sideloading apps or trying to get around app store restrictions, this method is a must-see. Let's start the process. First of all, you need to open this website and hit on DNS. Then hit con DNS and then hit allow to download the DNS profile. Now open the settings and then hit on downloaded profile and hit install to install the con DNS profile. If you want to use your own DNS profile, then you can create your own DNS profile as well. I already explained this in my last IPA installation video. After DNS profile, now go back to website again and then hit on top. Signer downloads. Here you will find eSign, Scarlet, and Feather Signer. Now simply hit on Feather Signer. You can try any one of the Feather Signer link. I will try the Feather Signer first link. Hit on the Feather Signer first link, then hit on Open and then hit install to install Feather Signer app in your iOS device. Once the Feather Signer app is installed, now open your settings, then open General, then open VPN and Device Management. Then open China Bank app, and then simply trust China Bank to let Feather Signer app work in your iOS device. Now you will see Feather app will start working. Now open Safari again, and then open the same website where we download the Feather Signer app. Now we need to download the certificate to let Feather app work properly. Scroll down and you will find different certificates. Now simply download any certificate. I will try the Sunshine 3 certificate. Simply hit on the certificate and then hit download to download the certificate. Now simply go to your download files and then hit on the downloaded Sunshine certificate zip file to unzip it. Then you will get Sunshine Certificate new folder with three files in it. Now open the Feather Signer app and then hit on the settings, then hit on Add Certificate. Now hit on Add Certificate again, then hit on Import Provisioning File. Now select the provisioning file from the Unzip Sunshine Certificate folder. Then hit on Import P12 Certificate File and then select Certificate from the same Sunshine Certificate folder. Then write the password and then simply hit Save to save the settings. Now you are all set with Feather Signer app. Now download the IPA file you want to install in your iOS device. Then open the library in Feather app and then hit import and then select the IPA file you want to install. Once your IPA file imported successfully, now hit on your IPA file and then hit sign. Then hit on start signing. Once it signs successfully, then hit on your IPA file again and this time hit install to install your IPA file in your iOS device. Once your IPA file is installed in your iOS device, now simply open the settings, and then open General, and then open VPN and Device Management. Then open Sunshine Group, and then simply trust the Sunshine Group to let your app work in your iOS device. Now you can see the app is working fine without any problem. Now a lot of people in comments ask me that how to not get revoked, 
So for this, I will advise you that before restarting the device, just turn one airplane mode. Second, if your certificate got revoked, you can try with other certificate as well. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more iOS tutorials, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments below what apps you're sideloading, and I'll see you in the next one.